Hey everyone, welcome to the Enough With That channel. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you for being here. Uh, make sure you go and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so I know this is a little late, but we are jumping into, this is the October end of the month budget. Okay, so I'm going to run through this real quick. I'll just run through all the categories like I normally do, um, and then just give you guys just a recap of overall how the month went. All right, so let's jump into it. So monthly bills here. So we'll just go through. So rent and mortgage, um, I split this with my partner. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos and you've been following me from the beginning, you know, this hasn't always been the case. The last couple of months we've went back to normal. So this is just my split here. Had a little bit of money left over there. Uh, phone is about the same at 100. Um, fuel, I had budgeted 50. I spent 55. I'd had some for I over budgeted uh, the previous months. Life insurance, that is the same. Um, medical insurance, I paid ahead, so there was nothing there. Um, I put some for dental as well, but I'd already paid. So 12.49 for next month there. Um, car insurance was 96.73. A little bit left over there from previous months where I over budgeted a little bit. A car maintenance, I did not budget for this. Um, typically that goes with like, for tire goes in flat or I need an oil change or something. Anyway, I had an oil change this month so I didn't budget for that. So I'll have to, I'll have to account for that next month. Um, annual fees, I just had some annual fees that came up as well that I had to pay. So usually these categories, when I'm normally budgeting throughout the year, like I usually put stuff in them, but since this year has been a little bit different since I've been pinning all my money towards debt, um, these categories are kind of catching me off guard. So I don't have money allocated for them, but I'll get caught up and I'll get back um, on budget with planning ahead for the unexpected or predictable expenses. All right, so that is it for monthly bills. Let's go into monthly expenses here all right so monthly expenses we internet and cable was 147 so i think it came out to 147.19 i had some money over in that category this is the same each month so i was right on target there spending money yes i went over quite a bit um i increased it to 400 i did so good last month but then i went over again this month um but november I will restart and I will be on target. Um, haircut, I went over a little bit there as well. Um, this category, I went over here as well. I had rented some movies on my, um, I should probably change the name of this category, on my Apple TV. So I went over a little bit there. Um, vitamins and supplements, again, I went over here as well. I think I budgeted, I had 100 in this category, but I went a little bit over um, there as well. As you can see, I went over quite a bit this month. Yeah, this was a not so good month with sticking to the budget. Uh, workout gear, I'm fine there. Was good in that category. All right, let's go to the next category. So debt, so this is what I paid towards my car, 1927. Uh, so that put me at right at, I think it was right around 11,000 um, that is left. So I got November and I have December to pay it off. Yes, I'll get it paid off. Um, so that is what I pit towards there. That is the only payment I have, as you can see here. It's your first time watching student loans. All of those are paid off. Just have the car left, which I'm creeping slowly getting it paid off. All right, let's jump into save and go. So I've started putting money back into a savings. Um, so I'm building this back up. So I put 2000 here. Of course, I have to do taxes um, for my income. So that is what came out there. And then um, investing as well. So I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule um, to my budget. So that's why I'm allocating these funds there. I just gotta get the uh, unpredictable stuff back in there. All right, travel. I think I put 329 there. I know I have some travel coming up in December, so I have 650 in that category. And then gifts, I have 500 here. So this is orange. It looks like it's not negative. I just have a goal there. Um, if I can click there and, and get the goal to show up. Anyway, so yeah, that's the goal that I have there. Um, so I'm at 20% 20 there. Um, 
and this is the goal that I'm trying to hit. So that's why that is orange there. So if you have YNAB, you can set goals within YNAB. So I didn't know that, it's pretty cool. All right, um, what do we have here? Rainy day, unpredictable. So I put money in car repairs and medical. Um, I don't know what this car repair is. Let's figure out what that is. Oh, that was a, that was actually the oil change. So I don't know what the $33 was. Maybe it's a tow fee or something. I need to figure that out. But anyway, um, hopefully I didn't double up. Yeah, it's weird. So car repairs, there we go there. And then medical, um, nothing there for medical. And let's jump into business expenses. Oh man, I went over here. So I only put 300 here. I had like a thousand or something in that category previously, but I, one, I had to travel for work for one of my clients. They had an event um, that I forgot I had to go to. So I went there and had to pay for traveling. I drove there, it was in Dallas, so I didn't have to pay for a car, but I still had to pay for a hotel. Um, I stayed at the um, hotel where the event was had. Um, and I bought, a, another um, another client is speaking it's a pretty big conference and it'd be an opportunity for me to meet and get other clients as well um, so I bought a ticket um, to that as well and then I had some other business expenses that came up that I'm having to pay just one-time fees to kind of get things rolling and get me off the ground just different systems and stuff that I need this right here these I say this every month these two just need to be the same category so i need to get that updated because this is like hosting fees and assistance that i already had um as well but anyway that is my budget for the month as you can see there is a lot of red i went over quite a bit in october so um i really need to clean it up for next month which i'll be fine i'll be good i uh it's just been a big transition with not having to uh Pay any bills towards debt and a uh, slight increase in income. So just getting used to and adjusting and rolling with the punches um, to make sure that I get this car paid off, which is definitely going to happen. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. Sorry it is late. Um, just been a very hectic month. This month will be even more hectic. But anyway, this is my end of the month budget for... October. Have a good day.